Hello YouTube, hello everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do any kind of reaction videos or anything to any of my hate videos, but I did read some comments on somebody's video. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there who hate me and... There's only one person that hates me that has met me, and that's my ex-husband, and, well, honestly, I, I am going to do one final, I guess, this is going to be my closure video. Um, he has a video where he made all these accusations and put them on a computer screen survival of a narcissist and um well I can't play them right now because of you know I don't I don't want to get into it it's just too sickening but certain things that he said um what he never mentioned if he wants to reveal everything um, that I said, you know, I'll tell you exactly my side of the story because every story has two sides. And he said that I pissed in his car. Well, the only reason I did that was because I had to go to the bathroom super, super bad. And he went to the store to get something. And he spent three hours talking to somebody in there, like he always does. For example, when we went to get her, our, um, our engagement rings, he spent about three hours talking about his trip to the mental hospital. He has been in so many mental hospitals, according to what he said. And... Um, It's ridiculous. And he didn't mention... He's, he, he's the narcissist. Because a narcissist will not mention their bad traits. A narcissist will say anything that will make somebody else look bad. Like he does. He fails to mention that he... Um, Mike Lee's gang, that's his name. If you want to look his channel up. Yeah, I pissed in the car because I was sitting in there for three hours while he's sitting there talking to somebody inside the store and I had to go to the bathroom real bad there was nowhere else to go and um aside from that yeah I've had a bad past and with my parents and, he, and there were things that happened about 10 years ago now people change and people try to better themselves and that's what I've been trying to do you know Everybody makes mistakes, and yeah, I've done a few mistakes about 10 years ago with my parents with lighting a curtain on fire. I was not in a good place 10 years ago. I admit it. Now, Mike, will you admit to being a closeted racist and using the N-word freely? Some of my best friends are black. I've dated black men before. And, um, no, I accept everybody. He doesn't like black people, but I'm sure he didn't mention that to you or the fact that he made me wait in the car for three hours while he bullshitted with somebody or the fact that every time we went out in public, he would totally ignore me and talk to everyone else around me. And whenever we were inside his house, he would totally ignore me then, too, because he wanted to watch his movies. I mean, for God's sakes, a, a plant at an office cubicle would get more attention than he gave me. So, a lot of people think I'm a bad person. No, 
I'm not. These people that I'm staying with right now, I go out and buy them food. I cook the, I cook their dinner. I cook the, their meals, and I go out and do some light yard work for them and everything. Does that sound somebody like a user? No, that sounds like somebody that wants to help somebody. And you know, you're all idiots if you believe somebody else who's never met me who wears a damn mask over their face. And. I'm the type of person that'll give you the shirt off my back. And anyone who does know me will know that. And right now I'm waiting for my clothes to dry. And I might go to karaoke or something, I don't know. And did Mike ever tell you that he's been harassing my parents? Trying to find out where I'm at? And non-stop calling them. Just calling them non-stop and texting them. I've gotten messages from my mother saying that he won't leave her alone. That he's harassing her. And he, um, he thinks his shit don't stink, but it does. And when we were supposed to um, be intimate for the first time. He's sitting there looking at messages on Grinder before he even does anything. He sits there for about a half hour looking at messages on Grinder before he does anything with me. On our first date. Oh, when we were walking around, um, going out the first few times he's eyeballing other guys damn he's hot oh hello Woof. i don't want to hear that shit you're supposed to be with me not sitting there eyeballing everybody else you want to talk about the real narcissist look at mike lee's gang i mean he'll go as far as reporting my videos because he was in the frame and have him taken down. But yet he's going to sit there bad mouth me and bitch and complain about me. Nah. Mike Lee gang, you're the narcissist because nobody should make somebody wait in a car for three hours while they have to go to the bathroom. Nobody should go out and talk to everybody and ignore their partner. I never felt like I was with him. I just felt like I was next to him. And every single orgasm that I ever had was faked when I was with him. And that's the only fake thing about me. I'm as real as they come. And there are people out there who have seen me, spent time with me, and they can't get enough of me. Because they have common sense, and they're not a brainless asshole who lives to feed off of pain and make people suffer. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And if you, if you have a problem with it, then maybe you should see a psychiatrist who enjoys a good challenge. But, yeah, I've read comments and seen people talking about me like they knew me for years when... They don't know me from Adam. So if you guys want to get the real dirt on me, you know where to go. Ask questions before you present answers. Has anyone ever came to me to ask me about the wherefore and why? Before they go posting videos about me? No, they haven't. And like I said on those comments... I have seen the videos, but I have muted my phone so I couldn't hear the audio. Went through the comments and it's pretty sad that people think they know me and they want to just badmouth me and say I'm a, a troll, I'm a loser, I'm this, I'm that. No. You want to know who I am? Gee, I knew this hand better than anyone else. Because I've seen it for 31 years. 
I've been in this body for 31 years. I know me better than anyone else. So if you really want to have information or dig dirt about me, send me an email or something. You know, my Facebook Messenger is always open. And if you want to know about me, don't watch those videos. Because they're totally untrue. Anyone who believes somebody who's just seen me and makes judgments is just as much of an idiot as they are. This is, this is my closure. This is my last video. Um, as far as, you know, reacting to those negative comments and everything. Yeah, I was at a bad place ten years ago. But I'm not going to sit there and judge somebody for something they did ten years ago. God, that's just awful. You know, everybody tries to make improvements on their life. And better themselves. And that's what I've been doing ever since that day. And I see that some people aren't going to do that. Some people are just going to sit there, feed off a negative energy. And just sit there and badmouth people. And those are the people that will never change. Those are the people that will never better themselves. Those are the people that just... Don't stand a chance at being a good person. Me? I used to be an asshole. I used to be nasty. I used to be hateful. But I've bettered myself. I've humbled myself. And I've been doing what I can to help people. And if you don't like the fact that if you're going to judge me for who I used to be, then that just makes you an even worse person than I used to be. I don't judge people. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. I don't even know why I'm doing this video. Except for, I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is if you're going to sit there and badmouth me, why don't you tell everybody what you've done with your life while you're at it. Tell everybody how you try to better yourself. If you're going to sit there and badmouth me, I challenge you to compare yourself to me and tell me what accomplishments you've made in your life. What have you tried to do to better yourself? Or what have you tried to do to make tomorrow a better day than today? What your goals are in life. My goal. Is to eventually get my own apartment. So I can have. My belongings. My cat. And not have to worry about my abusive parents. And retire from traveling the country. And. When you have nothing. That doesn't make you a manipulator. When, you, when you're on the roads with. When you're on the streets with absolutely nothing, it doesn't make you a manipulator. It doesn't make you a user. It doesn't make you use people. Because people have offered me a place to stay. You know, people have offered me food. And that's something that I did, that I, um, that I'm really not able to get. That's something that was offered to me and that doesn't make me a manipulator or a user that makes me accepting a helping hand you know uh, and in return I'll I'm not going to lie about it I have give I have offered my sexual services to people who have I've poured myself out I ain't going to beat around the bush I've poured myself out to get a meal. And um. I've worn myself out to get a meal. 
And I bet none of you have the balls to do what I'm doing right now. I'm taking a piss. While I'm recording this, it doesn't matter. Because I have no shame. I'm not ashamed of who I am. Um, you know, I, I've, You're dreaming, Karen. Just I've just done everything I can to be a good person. And there's people out there that'll never do that. Huh? I'm right here. Stay golden, y'all. And be positive, not negative.